Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Transfer Stories. Over the past 48 to 24 hours, there has been a lot of transfer stories going about, which means it comes onto this video. There's around about 10 stories to cover, so guys, let's go straight down to it. Guys, you know what to do, subscribe for more, give us a big like, if you enjoy it. Thanks for watching, and let's go. So Manchester City are apparently leading the race for Lionel Messi. Now, for you that don't know, Lionel Messi has apparently said that he wants to leave Barcelona. He does not want to see the remainder of his contract out. He really wants to come out of Barcelona this summer and this is obviously after Barcelona lost 8-2 to Bayern Munich in the Champions League quarterfinals. A lot of players ain't happy there. I watched that barcelona Bayern Munich game. It looked okay when it was 1-1. You know, it was a bit of a tight game. But as soon as Bayern Munich ran away with that game, it really was one-sided game. You may have saw me tweet about it, you may have saw me on, fa on my Facebook page, you know, talk about it. That game, for me, was not the Barcelona team I'm used to seeing in all my time I've been watching football. And the likes of, you know, where they're going. Barcelona play anything like that, it could perhaps lead to more problems in the near future for Barca. But apparently Lionel Messi wants to leave Barcelona for Manchester City. But it may not be Manchester City, but he does want to leave Barcelona. As I said, wild bread, Manchester City do lead the race for Lionel Messi. Could you imagine Lionel Messi within the Premier League with the likes of, you know, being in the Premier League for, you know, for the start? It could be massive for but uh, from Lionel Messi for the Premier League for City, it could probably tie up Manchester City and Liverpool title race for next season. But Lionel Messi, could we see him in the Premier League? Let me know in the comments below. Everton are back in talks with Napoli and Watford. Alan for Napoli and Abdeline from Watford. Sorry if I mispronounced your name, I might probably have somewhere across the line. But Adam from Napoli, this could be a good move for Everton. You know, what do we know about Adam? Centre midfielder, his other position is a defence midfielder. So could this possibly a slight replacement for the likes of Sigurdsson and, you know, start pushing Everton more towards European football. I'm not sure whether they made it this season or not. I can't quite remember. But, you know, it could only be one way for Everton and that's up. And it is pretty much the same for Ackerline from Watford. As I said, apologies if I'm mispronounced your name in any way. I might probably have anyway. But his main position is a centre midfielder, so yet again, what we just talked about with Adam. Um, his other positions are attacking midfielder and defence midfielder, so you know, he's got the slight between someone like Bruno Fernandes and someone like Fernandinho. Why would this platform Watford leave? He would leave because Watford obviously got relegated. And then they probably will lose some of their best players, which happens when teams go down in divisions. But I'm just going to go over this Watford player a bit more. He's got 37 appearances with four goals to his name. So, you know, being a light midfielder, that ain't too bad either, is it really? I mean, it could be a lot worse. But, you know, two centre midfielders on the card for Everton. Do you think it will happen? Please leave it down in the comments below, especially if you're an Everton fan. Douglas Costa. Now, Douglas Costa does look like he could be on his way to United. Now, Douglas Costa is one of these people that, you know, does play on the attack. He's a right winger by main position. He's also a left winger and an attacking midfielder on the other two positions. Douglas is 29 years old. Now, Manchester United have just literally qualified for the Champions League for this season. You know, the likes of United doing that, fair play for United for doing that as well. But Douglas, 29 years old, been rumoured with United, he's got 23 appearances, one goal to his name. 
His stats are a bit too low, I think, for Premier League uh, club like, like United. I mean, obviously, Premier League is more, you know, uh, pace than skill, and you know, it's all about your energy more than what you can do with your feet in the English Premier League. But United have paid interest in the Brazilian, Brazilian international. As I said, 29 years old, fair play if he does go. And if he does, could you see him make it? I mean, okay, as I said, he's 29 years old. End of contract, 30th of June 2022. You know, the lights being on the right wing. I'll go, I, think, I think he might find it hard to get into the team at Old Trafford. But, you know, the only one way to find out is by keeping an eye out for this one. As I've said, Diego Costa could be on his way to United. Miss by Shrink. Boasting, oh, I'm not mispronouncing that somewhere across the line. Plays for Chelsea anyway to see the pictures by popping up on the screen. Pony's paid interest from Leeds. Now, Leeds are one of these teams that really have, you know, came up from the Premier, uh, came up to the Premier League and really have had a bit of a disappointing window at this present in time, as far as I'm concerned. But he's looking for around about 25 million euros, which works out around about 20 million, I think, if I'm not too far off. I can usually pronounce his last name, but for some reason I just can't get it out. But Mish is looking the interest from Leeds. This could only go one way if it does go to Leeds, and that's up for both parties. Mish, I have seen him pound the Chelsea shirt quite a few times and obviously if he does go to Leeds he will take some Chelsea youth experience away so you know this could be a really good interesting transfer all the way through this window. I think our window closes on October the 1st. I can't quite remember the closing date, but I know it does go into the season, which means my Premier League position table will be going when the transfer window is still open. Which makes it harder, which bowls and makes it a lot more fun as well. But, you know, Mish, do you think you'd be in the league shirt? If you're a Chelsea fan and if you're a Leeds fan, please tell me how you feel in the comments below. Jim Bogrim from Starsburg, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, probably mispronounced the club name some of the way and possibly, you know, my apologies again if I have. He's got an interest from West Ham. Now, his main position is a centre midfielder, his other position is a defence midfielder. So, with the likes of that happening, Declan Rice could be on the move for West Ham this season. Could this be a replacement for him? Anyway, he's got 24 appearances with one goal to, uh, sorry, not even, not even a goal to his hand, one assist. So, you know, that's quite a bad stat to have. But he still is only 22 years of age, so he's still got a long career in the world of football. But, you know, with the likes of that happening, you know, is he, yeah, he is a French international as well, so could be a good signing for West Ham. Could be a bad signing. This is where you guys mostly come in. Do you think it'd be a good signing if he does go to West Ham, or do you think it'd be a bad signing if he goes to West Ham? As I said, he's only 22 years of age. For 24 appearances, one assist to your name. Now that's only 12 less appearances than we do in the Premier League. I think it was 38 games to play in the Premier League. But you know that could be a really bad stat to have. But anyway, as I said, it's up to you guys. Do you think it'd be a bad signing or a good signing for West Ham? But 22 years of age, you know, he's got a long career in football. So maybe not this window, maybe the next one. But we have to keep an eye out for this part especially. Now, Chelsea and Leicester are apparently putting the finishing touches to Ben Chornwell. Ben Chornwell to me is one of these players that really has took the Premier League by storm. Obviously I can't quite remember if he's part of the uh, Leicester winning Premier League team but you know he's got England called up galore. Definitely got a future in the England squad. Going to Chelsea and their long uh, young philosophy they got going there. It could only be up for both parties but Ben Chormel going to Chelsea probably getting into the first team as well on my straight away so you know with the likes of that happening it could only be one 
good thing and that's up for both parties. While we're on the verge of agreeing deals, apparently Arsenal are uh, have agreed a £22 million pound deal for Gabriel and I've pretty much covered him through this transfer story uh, videos and I probably will cover probably a bit more about him until a deal goes through or if it does go through. But you know, Arsenal bring a deal, Gabriel, £22 million, pound. it could only be up for both parties again as far as I'm concerned. Currently Southampton are in talks with Shakhtar over Western Kenny McKinney. Sorry if I mispronounced that name in any way I most probably have. Weston McKinney is a centre midfielder by main position. He's a defence and attacking midfielder from the other position. He's only 21 years of age, so still very young indeed. His appearances are 28 with three goals to his name, so you know, not the worst power covered in this transfer story, but probably won't be the best power cover either. But anyways, he's got interest from Southampton, around about £20 million pound mark from, you know, him. It can only really be up from, you know, both parties, young talent coming to the Premier League and seeing how he does. I know I've said this more than once already, but a lot of players come to the Premier League and struggle to fit in. But the only one way you can do it is by trying it out. But, you know, £20 million pound move for a young player like Weston. As I said, can only be up for both parties, can it? How many Burnley are closing on the deal for that to some money? I'm sorry if I mispronounced him, I might probably have in some way. But apparently Burnley are closing the deal on this fella. You know, yet again, a defence preferred by main position this time, not other position. His other position is a centre midfielder. You know, he's a French under-20 international as well. Only the age of 25, so, you know, is he trying to go and make that move? Try to get called up for the French squad. He's got 28 appearances, one goal and one assist to his name. This could be a big move for Burnley, especially if it does not pay off. I haven't actually seen this guy play, I don't think. But, you know, if Bernie want to go for him, then, you know, go for him and see how he does. He's a professional right fitter as well, so, you know, more right than left. And yet again, we saw it with Brandon Williams in the Europa League. I forgot the name just for a minute there. And playing the left, I think he's a right fitter, but he plays on the left back. It doesn't really work, but you know, if Burnley does go for him, good luck to Burnley, good luck to him. Hopefully to see you in the Premier League this season. Cali the crew to Barney, Pony has already agreed a deal with Manchester City. Pony is coming close to a deal, but to see him in the Premier League, you know, centre back. Man you see, I've been linked with so many centre about this window, it's, you know, a bit untrue. But he's 29 years of age, so, you know, has plenty of experience in football. 25 appearances, 7 yellow cards, 1 red card, no goals, no assist to his name. But, you know, with the likes of him being involved with City, yet again, is that Man you City trying to make a big step towards the Premier League, which they missed so far off of last season. Alex Sean drove for the season, sorry if I missed back, I must probably have someone across the line has got interest from Everton. Now, his main position is a right back, so literally right back. His other positions, and I do find this quite strange, is a right winger. So does this mean if Everton do sign him, I would go to a possible three at the back, or stick him on the right wing with a little 4-3-3 uh, sort of formation. He's 29 years old, so he's, you know, he's got maybe right back, maybe three to four years left in his legs, but, you know, who am I to judge with how far players go and how Four. But you know, 24 Italian international, he's got 35 appearances for Italy, two goals to his name, and he's also got 18 appearances for in Italy under 21 to five goals to his name. So you know, he's got a bit of goal scoring form about him as well. Going across to the season, 14 appearances, one assist to your name with five yellow cards. So you know, it ain't too bad on that stat either, really, is it? But anyway, guys, I'm going to bring this video to an end, guys. You know what to do, give yourself a big thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Share for now.